the text file and I'm just going to call it Flutter Hole and save it as a text file. Save and we'll open up Microsoft Excel and then we'll open up file that we just exported Photomodeler Scanner and the Looter Hole Looter Hole okay and that's going to be delimited it's Space delimited, next, and we're going to insert, oops, we're going to go ahead and insert a row, and then this will be x, y, z, r, g, p for red, green, and blue. And then we'll go ahead and save this as an Excel workbook. We'll just call it leaderhole.xls. Close the file. That. Leaderhole 3. Open the file. Open the table. There it is. And now we're going to say display x, y data, x is x, y is y. Get this object ID field, that's okay, we'll just allow the points to be there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Zoom out. Compare it back to this guy. Take a look in here, yeah, looks all right. So from here, we're going to go open up Toolbox, and we're going to say Topo to Raster, and our input feature data is going to be Looterhole Events. And I'm actually going to cancel here. I want to come to layers, properties, and I want to turn on the units. Set those to meters. Meters. Okay. We'll come back to here. We'll make our looter hole events. And so. Let's go ahead and make the cell size five millimeters and set the output extent to be the same as looter hole. And in the first one, we'll allow uh, an enforcement of the drainage networks. These are spot, the primary type of input data are spot because these are points created from the photos. And we have to change that up here. We want to change that to point elevation is the type and the field is going to be Z. And then we say OK. Just about finished interpolating. Can turn off these events. Double click on here. Change the symbology. No, we don't need to create a histogram. We just want to have standard deviations to and there's our DEM with the drainage networks enforced. You come in here and you can see 
little drainage networks are all enforced. Okay. Let's set that to be the display extent. You can see it a little bit better. In fact, we can make it even a little more clear. I'm setting that to bicubic. Now, since this is such a small space, I don't really think that intense drainage networks are really appropriate. So we're going to rerun the procedure based on looter hole events. Z point elevation. We're going to set the output cell size to 0, 0, 005, 5 millimeter raster. The drainage networks are not enforced and the primary type of input data is spot. I'll let that run.